Welcome to the Orca Boat Shop. My name is Rod. If you've been watching a bunch of my videos, a series on kayak building, canoe building, robo building, and doing repairs, you'll notice that behind me looks a little different. Uh, you know, just got to the point where I was really getting tired of lifting heavy things off of shelves that were in and behind the thickness planer and my table saw. So I decided that I would just kind of shift things around. I put all my clamps on the back wall, which are easy to reach and grab and just pull down. And I've moved my shelves to the other side wall here. So let me just show you. I store a lot of paints and, uh, and little containers full of jigs and, and clamps and stuff like that. And as I said, it was just getting really hard to be reaching over top of something to pull heavy cans of paint down. So I think this is going to work better. Of course, I know what's going to happen is I'm going to be walking around reaching for something where I've been reaching for it for the last couple of years and uh, now it's not going to be there. So it's going to take a little while to get used to the whole change around. You may also notice the shop's a little bit empty right now. I do have a boat outside that with some paint on. It's just kind of drying, very smelly. I didn't want it in the shop. It's got to dry for a week or so to get rid of the uh, toxic fumes from the preservative. But I thought I would take this opportunity to build a little something that I've been meaning to do for a while, and that is a little small boat dolly. I used to have one. Uh, Davis Company used to make a little boat called Wheel Away. Great little thing, take apart, little, you know, put your uh, rowboat on it and just wheel her down the ramp or down the trail or whatever. But a uh, customer came along many years back and said he was looking for a dolly. I said, well, I have one here. I'll sell it to you, used price thinking I could get a new one. They don't make them anymore. So now it's really difficult to get a small boat dolly that you can collapse and take apart and just either put in your boat or put in the back seat of your car. So I'm going to attempt to make one. I picked up a couple of uh, nice wheels here. They were on sale at Princess Auto. And uh, I've also picked up a rod of stainless steel, which I'm going to use for the axle. Nicely fits inside here. I can slip it off and on. And uh, so what I plan to do is put a couple of collars on here and then build some sort of uh, components that my little robot will sit on so I can just pull it out of the back of the truck, put it on the dolly and, and wheel away as, as the old uh, uh, product used to be called. So let's get to it. I haven't quite figured out all of the components. I've just kind of got an idea. So let's just see how it works out. I bought six feet of this rod thinking maybe I'd make two of them. And so I'm just going to cut it uh, in half at three foot. And of course, then I was thinking I probably could have just got them to cut this at the uh, shop where I bought it because they just cut off the six foot piece. I should have just asked for two three foot pieces, but I think we'll be able to cut through. It'll take a little bit of effort to cut through this stainless steel rod. But... my workout for today. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole through here to put a washer and a clevis pin. Then I've also got some stainless steel tubing which can provide for a bit of a spacer on the inside here, maybe just an inch or so, so that I can put a large washer behind that and drill a hole for a clevis pin as well. Once I've got the axle set up then I just need to figure out sort of how I'm going to build sort of a little rack that can sit on top of here boat sits on it you know just grab the bow and roll away so the idea being is I've got these little pins that will go through and hold it in place and I think I should be able to just put a hole maybe half an inch from the end there and then we'll put a washer in front of it so this doesn't sort of bind on the wheel as it goes round and round. Now, I have to admit, I don't do a lot of uh, metal working, so I do not have much of a setup to clamp this into my drill press to uh, drill a hole straight through there. So we're going to have to figure out some way of clamping it down. So I just rigged up this little uh, jig here just to hold the bar steady between there, hitting the uh, end with a good center punch so the drill doesn't wander all over the place. Two wheels on there with the pins in the end. So I'm just thinking with a washer and another pin on the inside. Probably just need no more than an inch or so of tubing in here maybe. 
just so that whatever structure is on the axle moving about is not going to slide from end to end and interfere with the uh, wheel itself. Please don't send your comments on how I could have done this much simpler with a better blade or better tools because this shop's not set up for metalworking. Okay, so these collars slide along there quite nicely and there will be a big sort of fender washer on either side of it to keep it away from the wheel itself. But I just need to mark approximately where I would put another pin to hold those in place. Time to assemble and see how it all sort of holds together this way. First the wheel, then a sleeve. I don't have the uh, washers right now, so we'll just see how this is going to function. And we have a functioning axle which can easily be disassembled and thrown into the boat, into a kayak, into a canoe, and away we go. Now, I just need to figure out, I'll probably lay some a 2x4 across here with some brackets underneath that can slide through, and from there some verticals and some beds for the uh, boat to sit on. But I think that's going to work pretty well once I get some large fender washers to just uh, not have that rubbing. But the bearings, these are nice wheels. They actually have uh, ball bearings inside. So even if the axle itself was binding or here, they would still roll anyways. And a good size wheel like this, pneumatic, is going to be really nice for rolling over rough surfaces or even soft sandy surfaces like a beach, whatever. They're not going to sink into the sand. I've just mocked up some 2x4s that I think might work. I've just drilled holes through the bottom, kind of cleaned up the bottom edge. This is some older uh, lumber. I mean, it's good lumber, but it's a little dirty. So the idea being is that would sit up there like that. We put sort of a bunk across here on both sides. And then when you're loading a boat, you can't just have this thing just constantly falling down. So there's got to be some sort of a, an arm that can swing out, uh, you know, swing out like this and rest on the ground. So you can just position your boat on top of it, level it out, center it, whatever, and then uh, roll away. But I mean, it's, you know, it's not too heavy, but definitely sturdy for uh, rolling a boat along. I think I'm happy with this prototype so far. So I decided that, you know, rather than uh, mix up or uh, cut up some cleaner lumber at all, I'm just going to go with this one, but I'm going to glue the ends and screw the ends together. And I'm using some thickened epoxy because I want this glue to be waterproof. let that glue dry. Now that the epoxy is set overnight, I'm just going to take out the steel screws and I'm actually going to replace with stainless steel and a mechanically held joint so shouldn't be falling apart. To support the uh, wheels or the stand in more of an upright position, I need to make a brace of some sort. So if I put this on the bottom like so, and it swings out like that, it will just hold it up somewhat like this. Is that long enough? I mean, I can't really make it any longer. I'd want it to either fit underneath here, which would be closer to the ground, pivot out, or put on the top, and pivot out. So if it's stuck out like so, going to hold it up about an angle like that, which is fine. Slide a boat up onto that.
I opted to put the swing out arm on the top because then I can have a wider surface here and to stop this from coming up I didn't I don't want to see this snap this or tear this uh, screw out so I think that when it's in the open position I can put a little brace on here screw this in and that'll support the rod arm when it's in the out position much more solid now. Still turns in easy, but once it locks underneath there, it's good and solid. The only thing left to do now, maybe just give it a bit of a spray paint, but I'm not going to bother showing that on the video. So I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I think it's going to work just fine. So prior to disassembling it and possibly painting it, I'm just going to give it a try. So I've got my boat on my other dolly here, which is just a big flat dolly I would be hauling lumber around on. So if one was to pull this up on the beach and slide this onto the dolly. And the idea being we can just wheel this down to the beach, down the ramp, down the dock, whatever, not having to fight with all the vehicles on a loading ramp in the summer. Around here we only have a few loading ramps and uh, yeah, they can get pretty busy. I've seen fist bites down to those loading ramps. People are frustrated by the fact that they, somebody's taking way too long to get their boat in the water or out. So I think that's going to work pretty well. I mean, it's got good sized wheels on it to roll it around. So one handed, uh, you know, takes one person now to get the boat out of the truck and down onto the dolly and down into the beach or onto, or down the beach and into the water. So thank you very much for watching. If you want to see more videos that come out of the shop here, do hit the subscribe button. Maybe leave a comment down below. Give us a like, a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.